You're live. All right. Well, welcome to St. Andrew's High School Chapel. I'm just looking at the beautiful stained glass windows, which come from the original St. Louis College, which was the first high school here in Victoria. So I'm in this beautiful chapel. I'm just looking around. There's the tabernacle. We're going to be putting the Blessed Sacrament in the tabernacle. I'm hoping that you're able to hear me. And I'm just looking at that beautiful banner. And we're going to go on a little tour right now, if you don't mind. It might be a little jiggly because I don't walk very smooth. I just knocked an advent wreath over on the floor, but that's all right. There's an icon of St. Andrew, which feast day it is today. Now we're going to go over here. We're looking at the new entrance area and beautiful new school. Looking out the windows here. That whole wing that you see was just built. It's brand new, just open. And of course, we're in a high school, so you got an intercom. And that's pretty normal. If you're in a high school, you got intercoms. There's foosball. That's pretty cool. Now we're just moving over here because I want to walk down this hallway. And I want everybody to see how wonderful this looks. This is pretty cool. I want to go up the stairs. I think I've still got six minutes before mass starts. So I just want you to know that this project has been in the works for about uh, 10 years. There's a brand new hallway. Look at how bright and light that is, eh? So now we're just moving around. Now I'm going to look out this window here. And I want you to look out there and look at that equipment there. You see that equipment? They're digging a hole to put in a $4 million performing arts wing. And that's just after we finished building a $13 million extension to the school and rebuild so that it would all be seismically safe. Anyway, I just thought I would give you a little tour because uh, this is a pretty amazing project for a tiny little school and a pretty small diocese to make this kind of commitment to Catholic education. And we've all been part of it because it's all a way that we use the appeal and we use uh, different funding models to try and create this opportunity. So I think I've still got about four minutes what time exactly is it, Glenn? It's exact it time? 11.06. 11.06. I'm going to run downstairs and uh, give everybody a little tour. These stairs are very, very old because that's part of the old building. And we're just going down the stairs. And uh, I want to show you this fantastic gathering area. There's the statue of St. Andrew. As you can see, he's a, well, he's sort of stuck there, I guess, in the corner. But there's the new office, office area there. And there's our library. I'm just moseying along here, taking pictures. This is all live stream, Rosa. Oh, no, your camera's sideways. My camera's sideways. Your video is coming through. Sideways. So... Oh, okay, this isn't going to work when I go to put it in my tripod. Um, darn it. Okay, well, apparently I'm sideways. Oh, well, I don't know what to do about that now. Okay, I'm just moving over here, going up the little wheelchair ramp. Look at that beautiful room there. Isn't that gorgeous? This is our going to be cafeteria and gathering area. Anyway, I just wanted you all to see all this because it was a huge amount of effort and energy and it's all to enhance uh, Catholic education here in the Diocese of Victoria. And so I just want you to get a chance to see that. That's a beautiful image of the uh, uh, art of the 
the students. And the words for hope and joy are written in all the languages of all the students that are in our school. The Advent wreath, isn't that beautiful? And of course, we're getting ready for Christmas. And we're moseying right along here. Is it, is it straight now, Rosa? Okay, now I gotta put it in the tripod, so I'm not sure how it's gonna show up when I get up there. How much time have I got now? It's almost 10 after. We're starting Mass exactly at 10 after with the blessing of the uh, blessing of the wreaths and the chapel and all of that. Apparently, this went sideways. So now, okay, I don't know how to do this. Oh. Okay, I'm going to turn it around this way. Sorry, folks, I'm just technical difficulties here. I don't know how to change the view of the camera. And I've got Glenn, the principal, here trying to figure it out. I thought I had it all set, and now it's all gone wonky. Can you see my head? It shouldn't be delayed. Can you see my head in the picture? Okay. Well, it's as good as we can get. If people have to turn sideways to look at it, that's all we can do. Well, can't we use that one? No, no, because that's Father Eduardo. It's all, it's there. Don't touch it. It's working. Father Eduardo tells me it's working. All right. You know what? I should be, um, my secondary job should be to run IT equipment for the high school. I'm sure I would get fired within one hour. Nonetheless, we can't change that, Rosa. I don't know how to do that. No, you can't hold it. But anyway, so I'm sideways, eh? All right, well, let's just see if we can get this fixed up here. There we go. How's that? Don't touch that. Okay, now, let's see. Does that work? Is that good now? Is it? Wait, wait. But you gotta look at not at not at the not at the zoom. You gotta look at the YouTube thing. The zoom is on. The zoom is straight. Oh, the this zoom is straight. Is a high you started it work. Did it? Yeah. All right. Why you? You're on also. Or there is no 
distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all and is generous to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. But how are they to call on one in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in one of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone to proclaim him? And how are they to proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all have obeyed the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? So faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, have they not heard? Indeed, they have, for their voices has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his end work. Day to day pulls forth his speech, and the night to night declares knowledge. Their message goes out through all the world. There is no speech nor are their words. Their voice is not heard, yet their voice goes out to all the earth and their words to the end of the world. Their message goes out to all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come, follow me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of my people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Father Eduardo, may the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, and may you really proclaim the Holy Gospel, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. Immediately they left the net and followed him. As Jesus went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father Eduardo, for proclaiming the word of God to us. Hopefully we're working and microphones are on and the Zoom is on and the live stream is on and hopefully I got the camera tilt, tilted in the right direction. But you know what I, what I really want to say to all you good students here and staff, the blessing of this chapel is really a sign and the symbol of the closeness of our God that that. From the beginning of time, God has desired to be close, very close to creation, very close to his people. And we celebrate Advent to remind us of this beautiful time that God's love sent his own son, Jesus, born of Mary, to be close to us. And that he has given us this gift of his body and his blood 
to be close to us. And so this chapel will have the presence of Jesus in the tabernacle, his body and blood present. So Jesus is close to us, close to you and close to me. And, and we can come here and visit this chapel to know that Jesus is close to us and is with us. And one of the beautiful things about school is we, we learn to help one another on the journey. Jesus drew some apostles, Andrew and Peter, because he didn't want to be alone on the journey. He wanted to be with his, his friends, his disciples, on the journey. And of course, the journey is pretty simple. The journey is to eternal life. Oh, I know you're on your journey to grade 12 and you can hardly wait to get graduated, but that's just the beginning of the journey. The real journey is the journey to eternal life. And so when we help one another on the journey, just like at the beginning of the Mass, I was crying out for help for my, my technical difficulties. I can't do this by myself. I was saying, oh Lord, I need help, I need help. And Mr. Palahake, he came over to help me and Rosa from downstairs, she came running up the stairs to help me. You see, this is what life is all about. And Jesus draws us together that we are, we realize, Father Eduardo said, look at all the different nations in our school, all the different people, that we're interrelated, we're interconnected. That's what Jesus does. He is the light, and his presence here in this school, in this sacrament, will draw us ever closer together, because the goal of the human journey there is only one goal of the human journey. Help one another. Help one another. That's the goal of the human journey. Help one another. And when we help one another, it puts us on that great journey to eternal life. So my dear students and staff, Jesus Christ is truly present here in this chapel, present in this school. So when you're walking by that door, come on in for a visit. When you need to ask for help from God, you come in here, you pray to Jesus. Jesus, I need help. Jesus, I need help. Just like when I was crying out, Lord, I need help. I can't work the equipment. All of a sudden, Mr. Palahickey showed up. All of a sudden, Rosa showed up. So, on this beautiful day, give thanks to God. On this beautiful day, that we can help one another. Like Andrew, he helped Jesus. And Jesus was close to him. Jesus is close to us. That's what Advent is all about. We have a word for that. Emmanuel. You'll hear that word during Advent. We can even sing it. I hope that you're allowed to sing sometimes in this pandemic. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. It means God with us. God is with us. Amen. So let us pray. We pray, Lord, that the doors of this chapel and the doors of our school and all our churches will always be open to gather in the people following Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all the good students here that they may continue to learn that great lesson in life, the only lesson there is, Help one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in thanksgiving for our.
our staff and our administration here at St. Andrews, for our board of directors and all those many people in our diocese that have made this beautiful chapel possible, beautiful new wing of the school possible, all our benefactors, we give you thanks and pray for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers that are close to our own hearts. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, we are your children, confident that you will hear and grant our prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now at this time, for our students to know, our parent community, we bless the bread and the wine. We use the same words that Jesus used at the Last Supper 2,000 years ago. And those words have been repeated for over 2,000 years, every day, every Sunday. And so we're going to use those same words from sacred scripture. And we will make present his body and blood, soul and divinity in this sacrament of his body and blood. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our children and all his holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread together, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, myself, your unworthy servant, the clergy, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, with you. and let us offer each other the sign of peace, socially distant, of course. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
us pray. May communion with your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in the peace and the joy of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Well, thank you so much, my dear students and all the staff here. Thank you for participating in this liturgy. Thank you, Father Eduardo, who's the chaplain here at St. Andrews, uh, for proclaiming the Word of God. Thank you, Mr. Palahickey, for running the Zoom so the students could participate. And thank you to everybody that f tried to follow the live stream, which is probably pretty muddled up, but nonetheless, we're trying our best. So I just want to be mindful that really we have to have our hearts full of gratitude. The light is coming. Jesus is with us. And when we come now to this beautiful St. Andrew's School, we have a place here in this chapel where we can spend time with Jesus. He's real. In his flesh he lives. He is risen. And he wants to draw close to us. He wants to be close to us. So my prayer for each and every one is that we will let Jesus draw close to us so that we can be in the light and we can lay down a good path of helping one another on our pilgrim journey of life. That's the work that we do here at St. Andrews, helping one another on the pilgrim journey of life. So you all have a good day now, and I'm going to turn off all my machines, and we're going to go on to the next thing. God bless you. Bishop Gary, we just want to... Oh, wait, you're not in the TV. Oh, yeah. Well, okay, right over here. So I'm in both. We're in both. This is the principal here. So just on behalf of the whole school, Father Eduardo and you, Bishop Gary, just a big thank you for your generosity of time for, for leading this very, very special Mass as we, uh, as we move forward in this season of Advent. So thank you. Blessings. And I know the students, too, will have a little celebration uh, goodie that their teachers are going to be giving to them. Uh, at this point in time, and then there'll be oh, some chocolate. Time. Yes, chocolate. yes, they will get some chocolate. I saw the boxes of chocolate downstairs. Oh boy, I'm going to race downstairs and get my chocolate before they all disappear. Very good. And there will be some announcements from our student council here uh, very shortly, students. So if we can just be patient with announcements that. from the student council. Yes. Oh boy. Very good. All right. Well. Okay. Thank you again. You're welcome, Mr. Palahicki. God bless you. I better turn this machine off now. Oh, Lordy. Beautiful. <laughs> How on earth do I even turn this off? Oh, well. Hello, students. Once you have entered our place of the student camp announcements, we'll be coming. Delta, so I'm